All right. According to Business Insider, millennials are, you know what? Really good at saving. Go <laughs> figure. Know, but <laughs> unfortunately, there's a downside to that, which is we are slowing down the economy somewhat. David. Is there any way for young people to win? Ah, they'll always blame us for something. You know, it's they're <laughs> jealous that we're young and still good looking yes. and, you know, killing it and understand all these gadgets. <laughs> and, you know, bottom line is that people need to be responsible for their own financial destiny. No one's going to help them when they run into trouble. And we shouldn't expect the government to help us anyway. Yeah. So I think it's quite OK that we're slowing down the economy in order to float ourselves. Uh, that sounds like a good idea okay. to me. Yeah. Not everything could be about short term economic gain. It's also yeah. about financial yeah. Stability. So anyway, one of the reasons millennials may be saving so much is because of the threat of a recession. Our next guests are here to tell us how we can recession-proof our lives, including our jobs. Yeah. They're the co-founders of Super Connector Media. Let's welcome Chris Winfield and Jen Gottlieb. How are you guys doing? Good. Hey, Good to Jen. See you. Hi, Chris. Welcome on? to the show. Now, uh, millennials, we <laughs> care about jobs. Gen Z, we care about jobs yes. because out of school, we have so much debt to pay, and then we're like, ooh, the job market isn't so great. And as of this year, uh, a lot of economic statistics are indicating, okay, recession's coming, just because, you know, we don't know when exactly, but things, you know, it's a cycle, so we know eventually it'll be here. What do you, what are your thoughts on this, and how can millennials and Gen Zs bulletproof their career? I think the number one way to bulletproof your career, no matter what, like no matter what happens, if a recession happens, if you lose your job, like things happen, is to make connections and broaden your network. Because at the end of the day, your network and your connections are what makes everything easier. Right? Think about it. If you're looking for a job, what do you do first? What's the first thing that you do? Reach oh, out. That's it. Me. Well, Me. Well, David. Yeah. Perfect. Exactly. I think you, maybe you should be calling them. <laughs> yeah, I'll call call, call out. I mean, you reach out to your friends, though. Your network. And the yeah. bigger your network is, the closer your connections are, the more people that you have to reach out to, the better your chances are that you're going to find something to, you know, to do right after. 100%. And like, that's the whole thing. So many people think, oh, I'm just going to apply online or this. But you ask most people like, that have like a great job that they love, and you're like, how did you get that job? Like, oh, I knew somebody. Yeah. I got referred to somebody, yeah. that type of thing. And the best thing is to not wait until you have to get a new job or you get fired or you get laid off. Like starting now, unless you work for me, please don't start now. Um, a bunch of our yeah, friends. our producers, please don't our start producers. looking. No, 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 for no. Yeah. Job. everyone yeah. else, take this advice. Yeah. Please do not. Yeah, I love my producers. Please don't. Yes, yeah, yeah, they're great. They're yeah. great. But you know, this is often the problem: is that people often get laid off all at the same time yeah. due to a recession, right? And then you're competing in a hyper competitive environment. So is that where your network comes in and saves you? Is that the life raft? Your, your network is your net worth. Yep. There's something to think about. So your network yeah. is your net worth. So meaning that the more connections you have, the more people that you know that you can count on, the better you're going to be, the better off you're going to be. And not just how many people you know, but the deeper the connections, right? If you have given a lot to somebody or helped somebody a lot and really provided a lot of value for that person, they're going to want to help you way more. So deepening those connections. So we always tell people, figure out what you can do to help people. Don't just like make a million friends and go to a networking <laughs> event and like hand out your business card to a million people. Yeah, be like that sure. guy. Now exactly. I know everybody. I met one of those guys yesterday. Oh yeah. And did you like that guy? No. Oh, I was know. fine with it. I appreciated the hustle, but I have a very unique view of, of things. Do you want to help that people... guy? What? Do you want to help that guy? Do you want to go above and beyond for Do him? Do you never want to see him again? <laughs> Will your life be better? <laughs> somewhere, somewhere in between. Right, exactly. <laughs> right. But if that guy came in and started asking you a million questions about you and figuring out how he could help you and how, like, you would be way more interested. Don't That's you think? typically yeah. what I do myself. So I'm exactly. very curious about people. I ask you guys questions. This environment where I ask questions bleeds into my daily life right mm -hmm. so and right. it's really positive for networking exactly totally. because the most interesting people are the most interested people mm -hmm. so if you think about it so i've had conversations with people where all i did was ask them questions i never told them one thing about me and they walked away and they're like man that was the most interesting yeah. Yeah, best they conversation listener, they're like they, they think, think i'm the best person you. ever yes. they don't know anything they don't need the therapist chris no i'm the therapist <laughs> and this is like in starbucks lines like people will do that so yeah yeah, yeah. it's uh but it's 
something to remember because most people, like, they are at a networking event and they hate going to a networking event. But if you just make it about somebody else and what you can do to help them, there's something called the law of reciprocity. It will come back to you at some point. It doesn't matter. It will come back to you. And you never have to worry about knowing what to talk about. So people go, go to networking events and they're like, oh my God, I get so nervous and I don't just know what to talk the, about. Just let the other person talk. Just ask questions. You don't yeah. have to say a word. And then that person will walk away from the conversation and be like, I loved that person. And then you can follow up and create a relationship and they're going to want to help you. Oldest trick in the book, guys. Oldest trick in the book. Oldest trick. Okay, so what's your relationship? How do you guys know each other? How'd you um, network? So we live together. No, just... <laughs> 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 we, we live together. I love this. Turn it on. Yeah. Dogs. Yeah. 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 yeah, so we're... Husband and wives. Uh, yeah. Well, not life not partners. Married. Exactly. Life partners, yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Come on, Julia, life partners. Yeah, 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 life partners. Yeah, yeah. We this don't is believe a show in for millennials. It. Right, non traditional, <laughs> binary. <laughs> so, how do you make this work? So, I was talking about an, uh, to an entrepreneur last night about this. When you lay down in bed at night, is pillow talk about entrepreneurship? Oh man, that is such a good question. <laughs> That's the other thing. Like life now, especially because of our devices and everything's always on, like it's very hard to ever turn off. Like there's no real work life balance. For no. anyone, I don't believe any like that there's actually a thing. We stopped believing in work life balance a long time ago. So when we were trying to do the work life balance thing, it didn't work and we were just getting more and more frustrated and then like we would fight all the time. But when we're like, you know what? It's life and it's work and it's all life. And it's all one, and we talk yeah. about work together, and we love our work so much that it, but it's It's fun. not a fair, it's not always perfect. No, We're actually talking no, to a therapist today. Today, <laughs> it's not, no, it's- You guys look so put well put together. <laughs> well, thank right. you, yeah, we look great. I mean, the highlight, the highlight reel. reels, they're really real. <laughs> Social media highlight reel, yeah. No, we're happy, we, and we love <laughs> working like, together. No, we're happy. It's, it's we not are, that bad. of course. Uh, but people are like, is it really, really, really hard? But when you love what you do, we can't really imagine not doing it together. Correct. Right? That's so I'm like, I couldn't imagine not doing it with him, so it's always better. Oh, that's really oh, sweet. Thanks. He's like, oh, that's really sweet. <laughs> Do you really? Yeah, that is really that? sweet. Yeah. No, it is really sure. sweet. So does he does he go to the gym as often as you though, Jen? We have the same trainer. <laughs> he was there oh this morning. Oh my god, you guys are yeah, like you... super committed. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Same trainer. I mean, you're yeah. more than married. This is like yeah. legit. Oh, oh yeah. we have the same trainer. Yeah, we're oh, it's all all involved, yes. It's all in. So there's all no work-life balance, it's no. all co-mingled, it's yes. just one big casserole of Chris and Jen. That's We're going it. for it. The casserole. <laughs> I love that, no one said oh my God, That's I amazing. That. <laughs> you, you can't tell where the cheese and the potatoes it. start, no. right? You have no idea. <laughs> I love that. That's the way we like it, a big casserole. So what is Super Connected Media, this casserole? Tell us about yeah. it. Super Connected Media is our company and we have a PR agency and we also host amazing events in New York City that connect entrepreneurs to the media. So, but we do PR differently. We don't do PR in the most traditional way. We do PR all based on the idea of connection and relationships. And we also throw in mindset as well, because when a lot of entrepreneurs try to get in the media and they start putting themselves out there, what's the first thing that blocks them? What do you guys think? From really stepping out Too promotional. I don't want to be braggy. I don't want to be promotional. I don't want to be salesy. Yeah. Fear. They get yep. scared. Fear. So we actually. People are scared of TV. Julie and I don't know anything about yeah, that. No. Well, <laughs> I, I know a little bit because, you know, once upon a time, I, I, I was not really comfortable on camera. Really? But yeah, no. We've done a lot of, <laughs> done done a lot lot of amazing work. Yeah. So, but wait, have you done a lot of no, mindset? By the way, the really, that's like a good reaction. If I was like, oh yeah, I can tell. Then that would be like a really bad. Yeah. But if I was shocked, like, I, because you're great. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously. Yeah, no, but, but I totally sympathize with entrepreneurs and just everybody. Yes. Alike. They're like, I'm camera shy. I don't want something to point Oh my God, your bling got stuck. Here you go. Here go. Oh, fix the bling. Yeah. Fix the bling. Good bling. Yeah. yeah. And I, so, so I totally sympathize with that. It's like, it, it's a scary experience. The first time you put yourself out there and you talk about this thing you just built, which is your totally. child, and you don't want to be too braggy, but you also don't want to hold back because you believe in this thing. You she knows. It, you need to come to our event speak on our stage. You yeah. seriously. Seriously, no, yeah. We like, and interview that entrepreneurs for a living. Yeah. We get it. You yeah. Imposter yeah. syndrome. Oh my God. Well, but, but everyone thing. has imposter everyone. syndrome. Everyone. Yeah. I'm sure Jen and Chris have imposter oh, syndrome. Oh my God. Too. Yeah, yeah. Big time. Yes, seriously. I have it all the time. Every day. Multiple. I wake up right and I'm now. like, I, I had it this morning when everyone, because before the show happens, they come to me with a mic and thing, and I have yeah. like five people working on me. I'm like, Am I this important? Yeah. yeah. Like, your hair, not your hair. Well, guess what? I think you are. Yeah. Oh, serious. Yeah. <laughs>
I think you do an amazing job. You like, are. You guys real. both. Like, yeah. it's a good, good energy in oh, here. Yeah, you're a good team. But it doesn't matter. Like, no, you're faking it great. <laughs> so tell us about this next event and yeah. how we can come to it. Yeah. yeah. Oh, my gosh. You must. November yeah. 5th, 6th, and 7th, New York City. I think I invited you, David. I'm sure. I'm sure. Well, you're coming now. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. It's harder to say no face to face. There's, exactly. there's a lesson, right? Oh, yeah. 100%. In video. in person connection. Yeah. In the power yeah. of in person belly to belly conversations. Okay. So November 5th, 6th, and 7th, what are you doing? Yeah. New York City. Epic event. We have 125 entrepreneurs that come from and then the from all around the world. And we teach all about connection, connecting to the media, connecting to other amazing entrepreneurs, connecting to your ultimate potential. And then on the second day, we have over 100 of the top media people from the country come in and we have this big media mixer, big party, it's super fun that you guys need to come to. Definitely coming to the party. Yeah. That's right. That's and enough. talk about networking. But it's different it's kind of networking. Like it's not like going around and saying, what can I get from all these people here? How can I pitch myself? It's all about everyone figuring out how they can help each other. Legitimately serving everybody else so that you can make authentic relationships. It's amazing. So that you're not just, you know, a pitch in someone's email. So that you're a friend. That you're I a buddy. get hundreds of those a day. Yeah. yeah. Right? Yep. Yep. <laughs> so, but if you have a buddy in mind that you really like, that you met, that was really cool with you at an event, that asked like... They go through a different process of pitching. Different. What is yep. it? Uh, I send an email straight to my producer and I say, put this person on. Yeah. Yep. See? Yep. Mm -hmm. It's the shortcut. Relationships are the shortcut. So same thing. We go back to recession-proofing your career. It's the exact same thing. When you have a buddy like that you actually have a real relationship with... They're, they're going to help, help you. you. Yeah, of course. Much more than just sending your resume out to a million jobs that don't know you. Well, I thought you guys were great guests. We're yeah. going to have you back because oh, this was yeah. a great segment. This is so, so fun. Yeah. This is so yeah, fun. So guys, I could sit here for hours. Chris and Jen Chris 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 Casserole. Chris, yeah. Chris and Jen Casserole, we will that. see you at your party. Yes. yes. We will. Yes. Thank you guys Thank so much. I just to say again, you look fabulous. Thank you. You look fabulous. Oh, you were talking to her. Not you, Chris. I know. <laughs> Second fiddle.